Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Stella Inger. The University of Arizona is tackling an issue that is critical in Arizona and other states with large Latino populations. The diagnosis and misdiagnosis of speech sound disorders in bilingual Latino children. As Nine on Your Side's Carlos Herrera reports, if we don't get this correct now, experts say we can misdiagnose a generation of children. Leah Fabiano-Smith is an associate professor at the U of A. She's been doing research to help reduce health and educational disparities for bilingual children. She says her research in the past 20 years shows discrepancies when it comes to diagnosing speech sound disorders in bilingual children. We have many tests for children who speak only English, but we really don't have many assessment procedures for children who speak both English and Spanish. She says the current method is a problem because it uses tests that have been designed to look at English speaking children. And what this can do is make a bilingual child look like he has a speech disorder when he actually doesn't. And that's the problem Fabiano Smith is working to solve. With a $2.5 million federal grant, She's developing tools that pathologists need to accurately diagnose speech sound disorders in Latino American children. She and her research team are partnering with the Sunnyside Unified School District and are working with three and four year olds enrolled in preschool programs. The children are recorded while being asked to identify pictures. The recordings are then analyzed to determine where the children are having problems. If a bilingual child is not producing English speech sounds exactly like their monolingual peers, they may not have a disorder, just need extra help with English language skills skills, a method Fabiano Smith says will not only reduce misdiagnosis, but also eliminate one of the biggest problems that comes with it. That child gets pulled out of the classroom and has to go to speech therapy services that they don't need. So they're missing time in the classroom. Rebecca Lopez, a preschool teacher at Ocotillo Learning Center, says the testing method should be changed to help the children in the future. So that they don't have to miss out on all of the valuable information that we are doing in the classroom. And for now, research is mainly focused on students who speak English and Spanish, but could expand to other languages in the future. Fabiano Smith expects results to be ready in five years. Now, a common question Fabiano Smith gets from parents is, should I stop reading or talking to my kids in Spanish to reduce the chances of them developing a speech language disorder? Well, Fabiano Smith says, just don't do it. That's actually a bad idea. Your child should be diagnosed at school.